Hello, it's me, Yasuha, and we're trying out uh, Abort Candies today, which is pretty cool. And I, I've got two operators uh, behind the camera, which is pretty cool. They're going to be trying out them too, but I'm too shy to uh, talk stuff uh, in front of them, but that's fine. I've spent about uh, 60 euros on all these candies, and well, it's just a video that I make for me and my friends, not really for the channel, because I know that it's not going to be really paying off. But at the very least, I will have fun as much as I will, I hope. All right, but let's begin. Uh, first thing I want to try is this Japanese ramune. Is that how you spell it? More, more like ramune, right? I think. I don't know Japanese, so please don't judge me. Uh, the reason why I bought it is because there's an interesting way to open it. Not like uh, usual cans. It's actually, there's a marble inside. So let's actually try it out. All right, let's get it open. So you take this cap off and it just broke off. All right, we got this thing open. You take off the uh, whatever this thing is, but you get the cap. And as you might see, you can't open it easily because there's actually a marble inside. Wait. So you take this cap off and you push it and you break it off and you get this little piece and you have to push it in. Oh my God, that was insane. Okay, I actually thought I'm not gonna have enough power to do that, but apparently I have just enough. And I spilled a little bit. All right, let me wipe this up a little bit. All right, so we got, uh, I'm gonna take a glass so that I could like check the color. As you might see, there's like a marble right here. You see that? It's pretty cool. In order to pour it in, you need to actually aim it between those two dents inside so that the marble wouldn't block the exit. So you do it this way. Because if I would do this other way, it would actually look like this. It would just stop pouring and well, it's sealed in. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try it out. It's actually a uh, watermelon taste, so it actually smells like watermelon beer for some reason. Holy shit. That actually tastes insanely good. I thought it's gonna taste worse because I've tried watermelon drinks before and they weren't that good actually. I'm gonna give my operators try it out so that they can honestly tell their opinion. It tastes like watermelon. It tastes like watermelon beer. What are you talking about? All right, so my third one's gonna try it out. Let's see, what does he say? He's <laughs> good. All right, see, that's what I was talking about. See, my friend who drinks alcohol every day, he actually gets my idea, see? Because it actually tastes like beer. It smells like beer a little bit. It smells more like a watermelon candy, but it tastes a little bit like beer, but overall, it's good. I would actually give it like seven out of ten. Honestly, I thought it's gonna work. I thought it's gonna taste much worse because I've tried other drinks with watermelon and they weren't that good. While this actually tastes like watermelon. All right, that was pretty good. But now we're gonna try pop tarts. Uh, the reason why is because we're gonna kind of alternate between like food and drinks, so that I'm not gonna like drink everything and then eat, and then I want to drink and I have nothing to drink. So. Yeah, that's exactly the reason why we're gonna do that. So that's how Pop-Tarts look like uh, from up close. As you might see, I didn't get the original taste of Pop-Tarts. I got a uh, confetti cupcake uh, because they didn't sell the original one. The reason why I actually bought uh, Pop-Tarts is not only because I wanted to try them out, but also because they're kind of a meme. As you remember, in 2012, there was Nyan Cat, and Nyan Cat was actually based on Pop-Tarts with like cat ears. So yeah, that's exactly the reason why I wanted to try them out. So let's get them open. And actually on the box, it says that Pop-Tarts need to be uh, heated up with uh, with toaster. And I do have toaster, so it's pretty nice. We're gonna try that out. And there's not much in the box, actually. I thought there's gonna be more. There's four in the box. And I thought they're gonna be not as thick as they are. Oh, I actually feel there's actually two of them in, in one pack. That's actually really nice. All right, we got the toaster right here and we're gonna try it and heat it up. So, Pop-Tarts, you open them up and let's see what's inside. Maybe there's even more than one or two. That's how they look like. Pretty cute, huh? I think they look pretty cute. So on the box here, it says that it needs to be fully baked and ready to eat. So you put it in and it doesn't look like I can get it out after that, but it's fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, apparently you need to put them on this way. Let's hope that my toaster is not gonna not gonna explode. And now we wait. Yeah. All right, so they're done. Uh, uh, let me actually. Ah, uh, we got the plate, and let's see how they actually look like. They're not really hot, but they are significantly hot. <laughs> Doesn't smell too good, honestly, and it's really hot actually. Let, let's let's let it cool a little bit, and then we're gonna get back to it because it's really hot right now. All right, so we were drinking and hope that Pop-Tarts are gonna taste better than this. They are still pretty hot. Well, they're not really hot, but they, they I feel like they're heated up. Let's try. I'm gonna actually tear a little bit. Yeah, like that. It tastes like a really cheap bakery. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. A really cheap bakery. And I mean, it is supposed to be like a cheap bakery, right? Like it's, it's not really expensive in the US, but in here, in Estonia, it is, it costs like 8 euros, I think. It's really expensive. And for that price, it's not that good. You can, you can eat it all. So we're gonna try out, I guess we're gonna try out, let's try Kool-Aid. I'm actually really interested how it tastes like. It's a really old American drink and you actually need water for it. It looks like this. As you might see, it's a really small package. I actually thought it's gonna be like much bigger, but apparently it's pretty small. All right, we've got the water right here. We got the Kool-Aid and how much water do we need? Uh, all right, let's beautifully tear it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really strong, it's really strong. All right, it looks like this if you pour it in. Can't really see because of the cop, because of those idiots. Most Ah, yeah, it looks like this, actually. It's really green down at the bottom because there's actually some drink left, but that's fine. I hope. All right, we're gonna pour in some water. I'm not gonna pour it all the way. Ooh, that's really green. I'm gonna pour it all the way, whatever. That's really green, what the hell? Well, at the very least, it smells like apple, actually. Like, this is one of those that actually smell like what it says. All right, uh, I'm gonna actually try to steer it up a little bit. Yeah, it looks really concentrated. I feel like it was made for like two liters. Wait, let me actually see. Maybe it was made for like two liters of drink. I'm gonna drink through straw. I'm gonna actually drink like... <laughs> it's really sour. It's sour and it tastes like apple, but like really, really, like green apple. It tastes like fucking green apple, but really concentrated. All right, so I added about, well, about this. This is actually the largest spoon I have in my entire like kitchen. So yeah, it's a lot of sugar. So let's try and hope it actually tastes a little bit better. I mean, it does taste a little bit better. It's not as bad, but I don't taste the sugar at all. It still tastes like... Oh, fuck. I'm watering because, dude, it's too sour. My operators can drink it all. Uh, I'm not going to be drinking any more of that. Alright, so we've eaten Pop-Tarts now and they were like pretty dreadful. But uh, we're going to light it up with a little bit of a drink. Even though, yeah, a drink. How about this uh, Chupa Chups drink? I'm actually not sure if it's even famous in like United States, I'm not sure. Uh, what this company makes is lollipops, but here we have a sparkling drink with grape flavor. The only reason I picked grape because my friend wanted to taste something grape. And unlike, unlike uh, Japanese Ramune, this opens like a normal can, so we're gonna do ju just that and I hope it's not gonna explode. Oh, that was good. It smells like grape, you won't believe, but it really smells like grape. All right, let's try it out. Well, you probably won't believe this, but this actually is just a, a grape drink and nothing else. All right, so we tried grape, yeah, we tried grape drink, and next up we're gonna have to try out Sakiru. Yeah, there's actually a really cool ad from Japan. I don't know how many people have actually seen it. I will link the actual ad in the or in, in the description below so you can watch the entire ad. There's actually two, uh, two uh, versions of this candy. It's like long 
long, right? And small, but they don't sell smaller, so we just got long. But they're basically the same. Just one is like straight, straight one big piece, and the other one's like cut into different pieces. So they're basically the same. All right, let's try to open it up. It looks kind of like this. Well, I mean, how are you expecting it to look like? It's a really long thing. I'm gonna cut one piece because I don't want to like waste the entire thing. I'm gonna just cut it straight out of it. So that's how it looks like up close. So basically the small package is literally like a lot of these, but like clumped in together. But this one is like all straight up long. So let's actually try it out. I'm gonna cut three pieces actually. Let's try it out. We love the advertisement. It's like amazing. Let's try it out. It tastes like blueberry, but it has actually a really nice taste. It It's like really soft. It's not really sudden. It's not like grape. Uh, wait, is that actually grape? All right, I might have actually lied to you because these are not blueberries. These are actually grapes. So it tastes literally like the soda, uh, soda that we have drink before. It tastes exactly the same. Well, not exactly. I feel like this one's more soft. This one tastes like really, really concentrated grape. While this, it's more like soft candy, you know? It's all right. I give it about, well, six out of 10 because I actually give it eight. Six for the candy and two for the advertisement because the advertisement is really good. But let's move on. We're gonna try a drink. And the most interesting for me is this Rick and Morty drink. Oh, I just noticed it's actually a, it's not can like painted this way. It's actually a sticker on the can itself, but it's not really bad, it's fine. I'm really interested how it tastes like because it has, wait a minute, it's an energy drink. It's an energy drink, I didn't know that. But yeah, it's actually an energy drink. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a normal drink, so. If you're not 16, you can't drink this. But I'm 18, so I can drink it as much as I want. I feel like this thing is gonna explode, honestly, because like... like... So this is how it looks like in here. It looks really pink, which is kind of... kind of weird, because I thought it was gonna be gr uh, green because of the, well, sticker. But apparently it's pink. Well, it's... It's an uh, energy drink and it tastes like energy drink. That's everything I can conclude about it. Like the only thing about this drink that is cool is it looks, but it tastes like a normal energy drink. Like there's nothing special about it. You better off buy some other energy drink or better yet, don't drink, don't drink energy drinks at all. Next up. All right, I actually found out that we have a uh, Hershey's uh, chocolate bar. It's a uh, mint flavored. I, again, couldn't get the original taste or original flavor. So I got the mint. The reason why I bought this chocolate bar is because I've heard from European people that it tastes like vomit. So I actually wanted to try it out. And well, I don't think this one is gonna taste like vomit, but if it will, it's gonna be pretty cool. Here's how it looks like up close. It smells like mint, you won't believe. So let's actually try it out. Well, it's just a normal mint chocolate. That's it. I thought it's gonna be any different, but apparently it's not. In Estonia, we have like mint candies that are sold only on Christmas. It did taste the same. All right, my friend actually showed me the candies he was talking about, and it is actually them. Yeah, it is them. I actually tried them out, and they actually taste exactly like them. They, they are pretty good. I like them. I give them like Christmas out of 10. All right, after we try Hershey's, uh, we need to drink it up with something or wash it up with something. So we're gonna drink this giant ass drink called Arizona. All right, this drink is giant, it's massive. You can't really tell what kind of drink it is. So I guess we're gonna just go in all blind. I'm guessing it's like Sakura or tea or something like that. Ooh, that's, that's good. Let's see how it looks like. It looks kind of greenish from the inside, but let's see how it looks like. Oh, well, it's not green. It's it's the color of tea, you won't believe. All right, let's try it out. I'm not a big fan of green tea, but this is really bad. I don't like that at all. It's not like disgusting, but it's a green tea and I'm not a big fan of a green tea. All right, so next up, we tried uh, Arizona drink. I didn't like it. Uh, my friends are like, all right, but you know, you could have made tea yourself and it would be much better, I feel like. But we're gonna be moving on on Twinkies, yes. Now that's the thing I was looking for like the most. Like this is probably my most favorite thing that I bought because I mean Twinkies is like the most famous thing 
out of everything that we have uh, in this table. Uh, people say that this thing doesn't age and it never goes bad. So we're gonna find out. Actually, I'm gonna find out. Uh, find out. I'm gonna save like one or two of these pieces and in 40 years expect me to try them out again. But for now we're gonna try them out and see how they taste like when they're like not brand new but at least like a month old. Wow, that's actually a lot of them in here. Wow, I thought they're gonna be like much less. But this is how they look like. Up close. All right, let's try it out. It's uh, well, it's packaged in this nice little package. It has a taste of a uh, cupcake. As you can see on the package, there's like uh, a really thick piece of cake and a little bit of cream, but in here, there's actually more cream than there's cake, which is pretty nice, I think. Yeah, let's try them out. It tastes exactly like we have uh, cupcakes in Estonia, so. And this thing tastes exactly the same, but with a really nice cream inside. All right, these Twinkies are actually really nice. I like them, we're gonna eat a little bit more of them a little bit later, but I'm gonna save them for like many years. I think my grandkids are gonna try them out and say that they still taste exactly the same as they taste now. But yeah, now we only have three ramen left, and I'm actually gonna open the one for the video and everything else we're gonna, uh, we're gonna make each one for each one of ourselves. Wow, the noodles are really thick, that's what I can tell. That's quite thick, and it? All right, so we got two more packages. This is the sauce you added after the water, and this is something. We're gonna add it before the water, because I think that's how you're supposed to do that. So let's now add the water and hope that it's not gonna explode. We have uh, get, got rid of the water, so now we take the sauce, which is supposed to be hot, and it's supposed to turn a little bit red. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it hot but it's not that bad actually it is hot but i've definitely tried more hotter stuff it's not that bad actually i like it and this concludes our video for today i tried everything we had uh this noodle is spicy but it's fine so i like it i'm gonna eat it right now after we finish the video the thing that i like the most and uh, the most creative one was honestly the ramen thingy with the marble the least favorite is probably well my friend is po pointing at uh kool-aid but honestly after a little bit if you if you mix more water it's actually good uh the thing i like like in terms of food is twinkies twinkies i like the most it's pretty good, I like it. And Pop-Tarts, well, they're okay, but I'm not a big fan of them. Sakura candies were really good. Really like it, recommend it. You should probably try it out. Rick and Morty, just normal energy drink, just buy Monster. Chocolate is fine, and this thing is a just grape juice. But that will conclude our video for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to join the Discord and like and sub. Yeah, that's the things that YouTubers say, right? But yeah, bye-bye.